Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Make sure to click all the things. Subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. And follow me on all the social medias. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, look, it's Frank and Barry. <laughs> Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days! And today, we're going to take a look at a Create a WWE Superstar Zombie Set featuring The Undertaker. Now, this figure set came out in 2015. I found this particular figure at my local flea market, the Emporium 31, here on the south side of Indianapolis and Greenwood, and uh, it's like $4 in a grab bag, so I went ahead and picked him up. Now, he is missing some of the accessories, uh, but uh, it is a complete figure, and it looks super cool, so I thought I'd go ahead and take a look. So let's take a look at an image of the packaging to see what it originally came with back in 2015. So here we have the Undertaker zombie set from Creative WWE Superstar. I actually have the Ultimate Warrior one that was like a Polynesian warrior. I'll put a card to that in this video if you want to go check that one out. And uh, this one is kind of the predecessor to the zombies and monsters figures that we got in the WWE. I think this is where they got the idea just to make them. And as you can see from this box, he had a couple of skeleton arms, a couple of skeleton legs. He's kind of got a Frankenstein type of body, comes with an Undertaker head, and then kind of a zombified or Frankenstein version of that. And he's got a cloak. He also came with a tombstone and some stickers that unfortunately have been lost in time to my particular figure but that's okay because at least I still have some of the uh, zombie I've got the actual wrestler head and I've got some of the skeleton and the cloak all right so taking a look at the figure here again it looks pretty cool it's kind of Frankenstein-y zombie-ish I love the holes in the little cloak and everything um, you know, it's got all the parts at least. We've got some nice bolts on the shoulder, got a nice little skeleton leg. Now, um, you know, the cloak just kind of hangs on there. So these break apart. That's the whole gimmick. You can switch these out to like zombie type stuff to skeleton. I got the head for the Undertaker, skeleton foot down here that pops off. And you can either put uh, a skeleton boot or a zombie boot. Uh, if you wanted to. So I'm going to take these off and then remove the cloak so we can get a better look at the entire body here. So you got to pull it off of the bolts. They kind of hang the little cloak on there. Pop the arms back in. Now these do come out pretty easy so be aware of that. I'm sure they can get lost but yeah so there's the Undertaker. We get some nice um, little scars and stitches on the body. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, and then we got the uh, little cloak right here with all the holes. Very, very nice. Now, as uh, far as the articulation goes on this figure, the head's on a ball joint. Looks up like that. And then you can uh, look down that far all around. Back and forth. Arms move up. They twist around. Uh, there's a single joint at the elbow, but there is a twist. Um, there's a twist at the hand. There's a twist at the waist. Um, the legs kick that far forward, kick about that far back. They do splay out pretty well. Um, and then there is a single knee joint right there. And then there's a twist at the upper calf and a single joint at the feet. Essentially, this is a basic WWE figure by Mattel that you would get uh, for any other type of figure. It just breaks apart and switches out the parts. 
So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I love the cloak. I love all the stitches on the arms, the bolts in his shoulder, the silver paint looks good. All the holes in the cloak look nice. The head sculpt is okay. I've seen better for The Undertaker, but it does look pretty decent. This one's a lot better than the zombie head, I think, but that's just my own opinion. All in all, I think it looks pretty cool. It's kind of a nice zombie Frankenstein looking figure, and that's always fun. Taking a look in the midsection of the figure, again, sculpted well. It's got a nice Frankenstein look with all the stitches. Love all the holes in the cloak. Uh, his left hand's got a nice silver painted shackle, which is really nice. He's very ripped for a zombie type figure. He's got some black standard uh, wrestler pants. And this thing really gives off more of a Frankenstein vibe than the zombie set vibe. But I guess they, you know, didn't want to pay for Frankenstein. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure, again, love the cloak, love all the shreds, the the rips, and the kind of torn up molding. We get this nice Frankenstein type of wrestling boot. Uh, the pants are shredded with some zombie skin. And we got the skeleton foot, which is very nice. I kind of wish I had a skeleton arm, but uh, that's okay. I've got the foot, and it just gives it a very monstrous kind of look, which is always fun at Halloween. For comparison, here we have the zombie set Undertaker create a WWE superstar next to the Marvel Legends Mr. Sinister. And as you can see, they're about the same height and uh, about the same musculature, I think, in the arms. But Sinister has got a little bit more uh, bigger body. And uh, yeah, it'd be fun to see these two go at it, right? Definitely fun to see the zombie and monster type of figures on the, the WWE shelf. And this one's really cool to have the collection because it kind of is setting the precedent for those zombie and monster lines. So is the Create a WWE Superstar Undertaker zombie set something that you want in your wrestling collection? Well, if you don't like the weird kind of goofy off lines from the WWE line, this could be an easy pass. If you do like the zombies and the monster figures, this is definitely something you might want to take a look at getting because, again, like I've said a few times, this kind of predates those figures and I think it really sets up those lines. And it's just kind of fun because you can mix and match the different parts. It comes with a little tombstone in its original packaging, the skeleton arms, the kind of Frankenstein body, and uh, some stickers and a cloak. And all in all, it's a lot of fun. I know the kids love this kind of stuff, and I wish we got more of these type of figures. And maybe we will in the future. So there he is, the zombie set Undertaker from the Create a WWE Superstar line by Mattel for 31 horror toys in 31 days. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.